Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we want to look at how to return the last transaction date for a list of records. So in this spreadsheet I have a bunch of customers down column C and I would like to return the last time those customers ordered from me, the last transaction date. Now the simplest way to do this would be to use a pivot table. So let me just click somewhere in my range of data here and insert a pivot table. I'll double check the range is correct and I'd like on a new worksheet. Let me click OK. And what I'll do is I'll start by dragging the customer name into this rows area. So in alphabetical order, I have the list of customers. So in your case, that would be whatever the, the record is uh, that you would like to return the last transaction date for. Here for me, it's the customer. I will then grab the order date field and drag that into the values area where the calculations will be performed. Now by default, it will switch into account at that point, but that's not what I want. I don't want to know how many times that customer has ordered from me. I want to know the last time they ordered from me. So let me right mouse click on one of those values. I shall summarize values by, and I'm going to choose the max value. So when I choose max, that returns the last time they ordered from me. Now it doesn't look very good at the moment because it's not presenting it in the right format. So let me right mouse click one of those values again, choose number format. This will format the whole, you know, all the values of the table, all of the order dates much better alternative to format cells. Let's click on number format and choose a date format of our choice. We just go for the standard one at the moment, English locale, click OK. And here we have it. We have the most recent order date for each of the customers we have in the list. At the moment, this is ordered alphabetically by customer name, and that would probably work because you know you would probably be looking for the date of a certain customer. You want to find that customer, see what time they ordered from you. I can see this customer here, it's been a while, 23rd of May 2016, the last time we saw them. And that kind of sticks out a little bit in this list. However, we could right mouse click one of those date values one more time and sort this list largest to smallest so that would bring back from the most recent order down to uh, the oldest of orders. So this customer here, or these four to be precise, have been our most recent customers from this list. You know, I could easily order that list the other way around. And here we go, that's the customer I mentioned earlier. The only one as far back as 2016 in this list. Uh, and then I've got a bunch from 2017 before we get into this year. It's 2018 at the time of recording this. And I can always right click a customer name and sort it back A to Z, which may be the typical way you're looking for a customer as opposed to a date. But the fact that we can sort and rearrange this list easily as well, it's just another reason why pivot tables are the perfect tool for this requirement. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.